This is this. It's a really pumped up part. Woo! Hey, let me tell you something. Let me give you five tricks <laughs> right now. They're gonna make all the difference in the world. All right. Actually, it all boils down to one thing. Don't be lazy. If you think that I'm coming like from up on high and down on y'all for being lazy, it's not true. Cause I was the laziest guy I ever knew in my life. I was super lazy. Straight. All day long, potato trip in the dip. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? I was like a legend on uh, Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? And then one day I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> I remember like it was yesterday, dog. I almost felt like killing myself when I thought about it. <laughs> But anyway, I was like, how did, how did I get so low? How could I possibly get to the point where it's like, I want to whack myself, dog, you know? And I just realized I needed a whole identity change. And the first thing I decided to kill in my old identity was my laziness, dog. You know what I started to do? I started to work hard. I got a job that was hammering cement blocks. That was the actual job description. I took that job, yo. I only lasted about... Uh, I lasted less than three hours, but it was just the first attempt to better myself, to work harder. Then I got a job at the cell phone store. I started just doing projects around the house. This pity thing, I did that. I learned how to stencil. I cut the stencil out and made it all fucking, it's tight. I learned, I built myself up. I used to talk like this. I used to just talk like a regular, just a regular run-of-the-mill white guy. I met this guy who sold CDs on the street, and he came up to me and he was like, What's up, dog? And instantly I was intimidated by him. Instantly I was like, eh, eh, here's, oh God, I, why can't you just let me go to the ATM? Eh, what would I do? He was like, hey, you know what? I don't know if you listen to rap or not. You like rap? So I said, yeah, I like rap. I like, you know, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Yo, listen to me, like, this is straight. Fucking 24-7, you know, I was writing, I was producing. I mean, this is three years of my work right here, dog. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna get you, have this for $15, man, right now. This is a $30 CD. But you can have it right now, dog. Don't say no, dog. Take it. It's gonna change your life, dog. Take the CD, motherfucker. Give me the fucking $15. Give me the fucking $15. Fuck out of here. And I just thought... I like that. I want to be that guy. I want to look at life and be like, hey, what's up? Hey, Max is here, motherfucker. Bah, pew. I just lost. I just, I just, I, that's all I got. Just look at the pity, the foo. Just look at, just look at Mr. T's face. Just look at his face. Get inspired. Be scared. Be, I want Mr. T to scare me into exercising more. Like he's like coming for me. He's like, I know you didn't lift weights today, foo. You said you was gonna lift weights and you didn't. I'm gonna get you, foo. I'm gonna get you, foo. I want that. I, want, I need that in my life, you know. I need fear. I need a. I need like a bully in my life. You know what I mean? I but like a good bully, like a bully that just knows that he's helping you by bullying you. It's a very fine line. Very fine line between good and bad bullying.